Hi, and welcome to Let's Play Brogue. My name is Jesse, and I want to say thank you to Brian Seeger for doing his Let's Plays at Pink Triforce, to giving me the courage or even interest to want to do my own. So this is Brogue. I've already picked up two wands. Pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this potion. And it was a potion of hallucination. This is a potion of life. I like to go ahead and drink potions as I get them to see what they are. If you see me flying across a room, it's because I'm pressing auto explore. Ooh, a spear. I find that if you auto explore through depths 1 to 3, it's okay, because there's not much of a threat. Just drank a potion of creeping death. That was too bad. Jackal, put on this onyx ring. And the whole level is explored. I'm going to drink this gray potion. Detect magic. Perfect. Pearwood Staff, another Spear, and another Scroll. I'm going to go ahead and equip this Spear, because it has Benevolent Magic. Obviously the ones that are red are malevolent, so those would be detrimental if I used them or detrimental to an enemy, meaning it would make my enemy stronger if I use it on them. It depends what it obviously is. But I'm thinking because I saw a dry wooden barricade guarding a treasure room that I'll want to use this malevolent brown potion on it. Because I'm going to assume it's a potion of incineration. Okay, so I'm going to throw this brown potion at the door, and I was right, and steam is spilling out, and it's hitting me, and I'm going to go onto this level, <laughs> so it doesn't kill me. I wonder if time... get out of there. Scalding steam almost burned me to death. Using this bloodwort spores, they're known for their healing properties. They're a really good addition to uh, version 1.3. Okay. What do I want? I think I want this... Ooh... This sword has benevolent magic. Oh, I didn't even realize this spear is a spear of paralysis. Well, I hope this sword... has a good... magic on it as well. Stupid monkey, I'm going to use this poison staff on him. Got my scroll back. 
and you can see all the creatures on this map because I had drank a potion of telepathy. So I'm going to let this kobold who's wandering walk right up to me. Oh, damn, he noticed me. If I had a stealth ring, I could have hit him and gotten extra damage. Another potion of detect magic. That's great. There's four jackals in this room. And they all notice me. I retreat to the doorway so I can attack them. I wonder... To defeat 14 more enemies with the sword to determine what its secrets are. My telepathy failed. Kobold. I'm gonna go up here. I'm boiling water for tea. And if anyone can guess what kind of tea it is, I will shout them out in my next video. On to depth four. I have yet to find a potion of strength, but hopefully this level will change that. Okay, great, this is just what I wanted. A captive ogre is now a value member, valuable member of my team. Come here. Come on. Oh, he didn't want any of that spores. And I have a captive goblin as a member of my team. And I'm going to give them some of these spores because their health is low. Dispatch the toad in its sleep. I love when that happens. I am hungry. Should I eat a food or a mango? I'm gonna eat a mango. My, what a yummy mango. And the ring I'm wearing is a ring of reaping. Which, each blow that I land in melee will recharge my staffs and charms by zero to one turns per point of damage dealt. That's not bad. I wonder if they recharge over time as they normally would. Let's hope so. I think I know what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go back up. Is it two floors ago? Go back here. Put my sword here and go to this wand of empowerment and use it on my ogre. Drop it back, pick up the sword. That is a devious trick I learned myself, but as I later looked it up. Uh oh, something died in combat. Okay, my goblin's okay. As I looked it up later on the Brogue Wikipedia, it's on the Wand of Empowerment page, so. I'm not that clever. And we'll wait for that Pit Bloat's caustic gas to dissipate. Ah, my sword is a plus two sword. That's great. And I will use. This incendiary dart on this wooden barricade and see what we have in here. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and use this wand of oh, no. wand of empowerment. Oh my pack's too full. Well, I'll just drop this spear for the meantime. 
Use the Wand of Empowerment on the Goblin. Drop the Wand of Empowerment. And maybe I want this Splint Mail. Yes, I do want this Splint Mail. these wands do. I'm going to drop the spear again, because I don't want it. And I'm going to see what these scrolls do. Hopefully these are... There we go, scroll of enchantment. And I think I'm also going to... No, I'm just going to enchant my armor. Hopefully the things on it are worth it. Okay, so no further exploration on this floor. I'm going to go down to depth 5. Don't want that whip. The last game I played, I had a whip of. What kind of whip is it? I had the chance to kill instantly. But it didn't save me from a battle with an ogre. Here comes a jelly. Jelly is kicking my ass. I think that was a very poor choice of fighting tactics. More incendiary darts. And I apologize if I'm going too fast when I play this game. But. I've never made a Let's Play before, so I apologize. Uh oh. I hate these bloats. He's wandering, so it's no. Okay, so he burst. Hopefully my ogre is okay in the other room. I'm sure he can hold his own if he gets into a... There he is. Ooh, seven javelins. There's what I wanted. I forgot about those potions I picked up. So my strength is 14 now, that means my splint mail armor is 9, but at 443 more turns it will tell me if, or it'll tell me what the special magic resting in it is. And this sword is pretty good, but I feel I can get a better weapon. Hopefully I can get a war hammer. Jelly. Short work with that jelly. Yes, I'm doing an obsidian ring. Actually, I'm going to use this to detect magic. Just to check, and the obsidian ring is benevolent. Nothing worse than putting on... Oh, there's only one magic thing on this whole level. There's nothing worse than putting on a magic piece of armor and having it constrict around you painfully. Oh, no. 
vampire bats. Vampire bats have been death of me many times by their sheer annoyance. But I'm not worried about them this time with my great goblin. And they're both. This is amazing. The ogre is studying the fallen vampire bat, and the goblin is chanting over the fallen vampire bat. And I think they'll both learn to fly. Whoa. Your ogre now recovers health when she inflicts damage. Wow, that's the first time that's happened. So they will almost be indestructible, hopefully. I think they... Probably the best allies I've had other than... Troll. I had a troll, a naga, and a dar blade master one time, but... I died quite shortly after that. Plus four splint mail. That's fine. Just fine. I'm pretty happy with that. So hopefully one of these scrolls, I have a lot of benevolent scrolls. There's only, actually I can go ahead and take this malevolent scroll and call it Cursed and just drop it there because the, the only scrolls that are malevolent are Aggravate Monsters and Summon Monsters. And those do not do any good for you. And another potion of Detect Magic. That is great. It's important to press the S key to search a room so you don't step on any pressure plates. Use this potion of telepathy just so I can pick up another potion of telepathy. See, look, a pressure, pl a pressure plate clicked underneath me. And of course it's caustic gas. Look at all these goblins. Make short work of these guys. I really want to get over here and kill this sleeping toad. <laughs> 